What's up, you guys? It's Valley Vonda Perfume Don back at you with another fragrance video. If you love fragrance, if you love smelling good, and you're in the place to be. If you love smelling good, you are in the place to be. How have you been? I feel like, you know, we need to get together. I feel like it's been too long. But anyways, we're back again. I've got some things to show you. It's very exciting. I think that some of these brands you've probably never heard of, which is even more fun. I love exposing you guys to new brands. Some of them I know for sure you've heard of and I've talked about before, but I had to go bite the bullet. You need to be subscribed and you need to hit the notification bell because the people that's actually in my perfume off, y'all always drop in the community tab when there's an amazing sale, which there was, and I was able to take advantage of that as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. This is from Savoir Fair. Oh my God, so exciting. Did I talk about this one already? If I did, whatever. Let's do it again. Okay, so from Savoir Fair, I have three fragrances. And it's really cool because this is a black owned brand again. Um, but then even besides that, it's an American brand. They're based in Atlanta. It's a niche fragrance brand. Their quality is so amazing. Let me tell you, I've been wearing the Soul Cafe one. And I'm going to have to have an individual review because literally I wore this yesterday. Stayed on me all day all day i know a lot of you guys you're like oh my God, i have to have a fragrance i have to have a fragrance that lasts all day these are fragrances that last all day the quality is amazing they have three in their line right now you can do a discovery box like this where you can try out all three and yes these are spray bottles because you know i don't like no roller the people that know no, I don't like no rollerball. Gross. So these are actually spray bottles that you can try out. It's actually quite a bit in there. How much is in here? Ooh, it doesn't say, but I mean, look at that. That's like, that's a pretty good size travel spray. So you can do all three. Their signature, Beau Noir and Soul Cafe, my favorite, especially if you're a girly girl. I think that's the most feminine one in the bunch, even though they're all considered unisex. But yeah, really, really like this one. Individual review coming soon. They also have um, full bottles of them. I think, I want to say that they're 50 mil, perhaps. But I'll link everything below. But yeah, these are really, really nice fragrances and last all day. I kept getting whiffs. And this is the type of fragrance, I'm not going to give a full review. It's so difficult to hold yourself back to from doing it. But this is not the kind of fragrance that every time you spray it, it smells different like every time i mean good every time with different notes come out it's blended to perfection but just depending on how you layer with other things what you're wearing that day just everything the, the the air probably the season i can't wait to rock this in fall winter oh my god but yeah i just feel like it always smells different and i'm just like what am i wearing today then i remember oh my god it's soul cafe it smells so amazing this is a scent that you would love and your guy would love as well Love it. It's a lot of brands that are kind of moving towards um, unisex, but yeah, I love this one. They're always sold out, so when you can find it and get your hands on it, please do. I mean, just look at that packaging. Fire, okay? Oh, actually, I have this little slip right here so you can see. That's the Discovery, and then these are the full-size ones, but everything will be listed below. Please check them out. The next one is also black-owned, so these are fragrance oils. This is sent from Circus Scents. Oh my God, I love that packaging. I'm so happy that I can actually share this with you because I've, I've been wanting to dip into these so bad. I love fragrance oils. They last even longer. Airtight sealed. Because sometimes when people send me oils, it's like they get messed up. I mean, it's really difficult. Sometimes they evaporate a little bit, especially when it's hot. But I mean, if you order from them, their quality is beautiful. Look at that. I just love that. I'm like, I don't even want to throw away this bag. It's beautiful. They got the emblem right there. But yeah, so I'm opening this with you guys, and then I'm going to have an individual review of this brand too. But yeah, it looks so nice. Look at that. You have to cut in. I think so. Is there any other way? No, I think you have to cut in. This one is Morning Dew. I'm going to do an overview of this brand, or it might be on my Instagram page. If you aren't following me on Instagram, it's Volleyball on the Perfume Don. Ooh, oh my God. Bruh, bruh. That smells so amazing. It smells like fresh. It smells like energizing citrus, but floral. This is the perfect energizing morning scent to like wake you up. It kind of reminds me of the aromatherapy line for Bath and Body Works. The one that kind of smells like citrus, orange peel type scent. Oh my God, that's beautiful. If you like citrus scents, Morning Dew by Circa Freight. That's so strong. I have the bottle closed. That is, these scents, oh my God, they're very strong. I love that. Okay, what's the next one? 
All right, Circus Sense. This one is Galena, I believe. Oh my gosh, go girl. I think it's a woman. Ooh, this smells very nice. This one kind of smells like sweet floral. Sweet floral, almost a little bit tart as well. It kind of smells like grapefruit a little bit. Mmm, that smells very nice. So that's Galena by Circus Sense. These are very, very strong, powerful fragrance oils. Wow. And you know the cool thing about fragrance oils is that you can combine, but you can combine, you can put it like layer with some fragrances. You can put it in your diffuser, use it around the house to make the scent. You can put them in those um, wool dryer balls. Instead of doing dryer sheets, um, I, I put essential oils in the dryer ball. They're wool. You can use them about like a hundred times. Saves you money when it comes to the dryer sheets. Or if you have dryer sheets, put those oils on the dryer sheets. It soaks through and it just makes your laundry smell amazing. Today is a cleaning day for me. So I, I know all the tricks when it comes to making everything smell so good. I like a place that smell good. I love everything smell good. So this one is Flores. Hmm. Oh, that smells really good. This smells so fresh and clean. I can't fight it. I can't fight it. I have to put this on my body right now. I have to put this on my body. This has to get on my body. Get on my body. This is Flores. This smells so fresh and clean. I don't know if it has like lavender or rose or something in there. Oh, this smells like dryer sheets. Speaking of dryer sheets, this smells like dryer sheets. I'm literally losing my mind right now. Wow, I think these are like $29.99, but let me tell you, the quality, you only need a little bit. I actually, you see how I did that drop? Don't even do a full drop. When it's full, do the smallest amount. Oh my God, that smells so good. You see how I'm talking? That means like the scent is strong. We like strong. Fuerte, 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 fuerte. Wepa, what does wepa mean? Do you know what wepa means? I don't know what it means, but I just like to say, wepa, wepa, wepa. I don't know what it means. Anyways, all right, the next one is going to be, wow, I've been looking for a very strong, fresh scent, Flores. If you like, I know we have a lot of freshies here because you know we like fresh scents. That is a beautiful, fresh fragrance. <sighs> I actually have a video coming of the scents that I wore this week so much because I've really been switching it up. And I think that I would love to layer that fragrance, which is the Fresh Fragrance Oil Flores by Circus Scents, with this one from Zents. If you like fresh scents, this one is Water Eau de Toilette. Oh my God, let's see. Just fresh, clean, heaven. It's that scent when you get your stuff out of the dryer, when you've used like Gain and Unstoppables and all that, and it just smells like fresh, clean, accomplished. This smells so good. I need to leave this house and let people smell my body. Anyways, the next one's going to be Aurum. Aurum, A-U-R-U-M. Let's see. Ooh, this one kind of smells sweet. What does this smell like? I don't, I can't pinpoint what it smells like. It smells kind of like sweet but florals. Not like gourmand, not like bakery type sweet. This doesn't smell bakery sweet, but it smells like, almost like sweet florals. It kind of smells like fall sweet florals. Something about that, I don't know. I don't know, but that smells good too. They, they all smell amazing. Wow, and these are like unique scents as well. Like I'm really making you guys know how it smells to everyone else, but when you smell these, it's not going to be something that's very familiar. Like, these are very unique scents. It smells amazing. And the last one, I believe this is called Havana. You, look, the font is so cute on there. Just look at that packaging. Cutie, cute, cute. Ooh, now this one, you know I love sweet scents. Havana is a sweet girl. This smells like um, a pie. Uh, it smells like a pie. It smells like cinnamon. It smells like a little bit like tobacco type. It kind of smells like Soul Cafe. If you smell Soul Cafe from Swats, from Savoir Fair, that's what it kind of smells like. And I bet they layer really good. Ooh, this is very sexy. Ooh, you know what this actually smells like? This smells like Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. That's what this smells like. Havana. Ooh. Okay, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. That was very fun. That was a very fun experience. 
I told you guys things we've never heard of before. Okay, the next one is going to be, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, what? You know what? Let's get into it. So this one is going to be from F the Scent Project, I think is the name. No, Scent Beauty is the name of the brand. And let me show you the packaging. They actually, they have a few different fragrances. Scent Beauty actually does the fragrance of Cher's fragrance as well, but they have so many different scents. They sent me one of their fluid scents. So it's a really cool, it's actually to celebrate um, the LGBTQ community, which is so amazing. Uh, and I'm pretty sure a portion of the money goes back to the community and to support organizations. But yeah, so the thing is that perfume is the most intense, I'm sorry, perfume is the most intense form of a memory. That's what it says on the packaging. And that's a quote from Jean-Paul Golan. We love Golan fragrances. Uh, and then it comes with this little the packaging is so cute, right? That's that's actually really cute. I was so happy when I got it. Um, but this is from Scent Beauty, and it says, To love oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance, a quote from Oscar Wilde. So this is all like about positivity and love and self-love and love for the world. Love it. It says, love your scent, love yourself. Again, they have so many different types of fragrances. Check them out. Everything's going to be listed below. It says, welcome to Scent Beauty, a cultural space where we celebrate our relationship with scent through curiosity, innovation, and art. Love it so much. Check them out. All these brands, check them out on Instagram. They're so cool. Now, this is the fragrance. Again, it comes in this cool blue box. I don't know, but the kind of stuff that I used to make. I actually, fun story. <laughs> I used to make these little swirlies. I would like cut up pieces of paper, use the scissors to like make these little swirlies and then sell them. Sell them. Sell them in the classroom. I had a whole business. And we used to all, we would buy up all of the supplies when the book fair would come along. We would buy, my friends and I, I'd be like, yo, let's put our money together. We're going to buy up the supplies. <laughs> when the book fair comes along, we're going to buy the pencils because those kids always need pencils. I was like, they always asking the teacher for some pencils. Um, so we're going to buy up all the pencils. So we did that. And then we would sell it to the kids for more. So we would buy it up for, I don't know, what is it, like 10 cents at the time or whatever. And then we would charge the kids like 50 cents or something. I was like, you need a pencil. I got a whole pencil box. 50 cents and then they give us the money we put it all together and they were like okay we got this business going and we would take the money and go buy up like all these uh chocolate milks and juices and all that because it costs more it wasn't a part of the regular lunch and we legitimately had a business i would sell paintings i would be like yo i'm gonna draw you and i would sell it to kids like i was a hustler i'm a hustler i'm a, I'm a hustler yeah. homie. Kids, like i was a hustler i wasn't a kid that sold candy Wow, that smells really, really good. Ooh, but yeah, I always have my little hustle going on. But anyways, yeah, this smells really good and fresh. I'm like really, really excited. So this is from Circus Sense. I have to see if they have a larger bottle because I know myself, I'm heavy handed. I'm like, I'm dripping my hair on my back, on my glutes, glutes. That's what I like to call it now. On my glutes, this smells really good, really nice and fresh. I've been looking, I've been looking for her. I've been looking for her. I've been looking for a fresh scent. Yo, I'm getting like whiffs. Um, anyways, let's get into it. So this is the fluid. It's called the Fluid Project. I think they have about three different ones. They actually have one that smells like cherry. I'm like, I might have to check that one out. But this one's called Transcend. The cool thing about this fragrance is that you have to shake and spray. Shake and spray, okay? So the top is pink. The bottom is blue. Do you see that? pink, blue, and then you have to shake it and then you spray it. So this is actually still on the packaging. Let me take that out. Okay, this one's the Transcend one. I believe it is pink and blue because those are the colors uh, that represent uh, transgender community, which is lovely. So you take that out. I just love the pack. The packaging is really cute. Just the whole thing. I was like, they really took their time. You, you guys know I'm huge about packaging. Love that. Take this out of that so the bottle doesn't get scratched. And again, you have the pink on top, blue at the bottom. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Dun, 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 dun. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Okay. And then once it's all shaken up, it turns like milky, milky white kind of a color. And then you pull that off. The packaging is really good. It's like secure. This is transcend again. And let me try to remind myself how it smells. I, I, I believe it's like a fruity... It smells like, yeah, it smells fruity. Kind of smells like melon to me. Something about it kind of smells like cantaloupe or melon to me. 
I don't know why. It kind of smells like floral and melon to me, but it smells really good. It's kind of like um, a fresher, cleaner scent. It's really great for spring, summer. It's a nice everyday scent. It's a little bit more on the feminine side, I would have to say. Um, but of course, wear what you want. Fragrance has no gender. Just like this one. I love it. So yeah, gender fluidity. Um, this is from the Fluid Project and this is Transcend and it's just really cool. And then after a while it goes back, like you can kind of see it separating again. But yeah, this kind of smells like a fresh, a, fr a fresh fruity floral scent. Why did it kind of smell like honeysuckle to me also? But yeah, really, really cool fragrance. Thanks so much for sending that to me. I just love, look at that. Isn't that cool? Love that. All right. So that's probably another brand you probably never heard of. So we're just having fun. We're on a discovery session, okay? So this is from a brand called Frederica Mahora. I know you guys have heard of them. They're really big, I think, in Europe. But I believe it's a Polish brand. If I'm saying anything wrong, correct me. But this comes from, on the Instagram, their name is Fragrance Spell. Information listed below. But yeah, these scents are no joke. First of all, these are like dupes to replicas. So if you're not into that, sorry. It's nice to have it sometimes just to put it in your bag because I know myself, oh my God, I will lose some stuff with the quickness. I actually, I'm so happy that I did not invest in the AirPods because I know myself and I'm so rough on headphones. I lose them. And I actually purchased the cheap ones off Amazon, which were great, but I freaking lost the container as I knew I would. If it's small, it's going to leave me. It's gone. So I'm so happy I didn't buy the real case because I would have been sick off losing a hundred plus dollars, almost 150. But anyways, I like to keep these in my purse because it's really good to have the replica that I can carry around. Um, it's very affordable, but it's insanely effective. I love Montel Roses and Musk. If you don't know about that fragrance, hey, check it out. I have a review, check it out. But let me tell you, this is a compliment getter of the dealership. But first of all, the dude who was helping us was cute, girl, he was cute, he was so cute. He was a ginger, yes, I like gingers, whatever. Anyways, he was so cute, he had like a gold chain, he was a ginger, you know, he had just the right amount of weight on him, because I like people that kind of have my size body, like not too skinny, not too big, just right. I feel like I'm a medium-sized person. I like medium-sized guys. He was a medium-sized height. I don't like super... I know most girls are like, oh, I like really tall guys. No, I don't, I don't have no way to put your big self. Get out. If he like seven foot, baby, I don't... I need a mansion to put you somewhere, okay? Medium height, a little bit taller than me. That's just fine. Not too short, not too tall. Goldilocks in this, okay? just right but anyways he was just right anyway this is a long-winded way of me telling you we were walking out to go see a vehicle and he was like he was holding the door open and he was like you smell real good and i was like <laughs> <laughs> yes yes and I was like, I can't wait to tell you guys. I almost wanted to like go get him on video and be like, it's him, it's him, my perfume off y'all. This is Frederica Mahora Pure Royal Line, which is like an intense version. So this stuff lasts all day, girl. All day. We was there all day. It lasted all day. And this is 713. So you have to go through their list in the catalog. Again, reach out to Fragrance Spell. She'll be able to tell you which one is the dupe for which fragrance. But when I tell you this is spot on, forget about it. It's really close. It's really, really close. And either way, it smells just as good and it has longevity. So I, I've been loving this. This will be a part of my most worn this week as well. I have the, um, this is a dupe for Black Opium, which I really love because I have the big bottle of Black Opium. And I was like, oh, I'm not taking that in my purse. But this one's a really nice substitute for it. And this one is number 366. It's kind of hard to keep track of which one is which. Like when I look at the bottles that I have, I'm like, because it doesn't say dupe on there or anything like that. No name, just numbers. And I'm like, your nose got to be good or something. But I just think the packaging for this line is like really cute too. And they are very affordable. So if you're trying to save your money, check them out. Hit up Fragrance Spell. I'll leave everything listed below. And this does smell straight up like black opium. Mm. It, oh, it even opens in a opens the same way you know when you first spray black opium it kind of has that orange blossom that kind of like tickles your nose it has that you got the coffee note in there you can smell it it's got the vanilla it li literally smells like it so and i have a few other samples from them let me see like a little vial 
I think they have samples too that they may share with you. Ooh, it's like Lost Cherry. I think this is a dupe for um, Lost Cherry. Ooh, yes. Girl, I'm telling y'all, please, please look them up. Girl, say, so look, say less. Affordable, um, longevity, smells good, smells good. Check them out, okay? So that's 19. I'm pretty sure that's a dupe for Lost Cherry. So if you're not really ready to fork out that $400, then check out that one. And if you just like cherry scents altogether, even if you're like, oh, I hate dupes. First of all, why are you here? Why are you here? Because, you know, I like everything. I like niche. We got niche going. We got Savoir Fair. We got niche going. We got designer. Speaking of designer, we got some coming up next. But anyways, this one is Amber Royale. This one has bergamot, orange, apple. Maybe they have original scents too. Huh. So this is Utique from Frederico Mahora. Luxury Fragrances. Amber Royal. Maybe they have um, unique scents as well. But this one has top notes of bergamot, orange, apple, cinnamon, heart notes of clove, bud, tobacco, and cedarwood. It sounds like it'd be really good for fall, winter. Ooh. Base notes, patchouli, taka bean, myrrh, and musk. Hmm. Jean-Town. Let's see. I'm kind of I'm kind of ready for like fall, winter. Are you guys ready for fall winter? What's your favorite season? Your favorite, your favorite season to wear fragrance? Let me know. Drop it below. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to pull out my um really strong fall winter scents. Like this has been cute, but girl, we ready for fall. Oh, this is kind of hard to come out. Please spray. It smells good. Have you guys smelled Ellie Saab? Their amber. I think it's number three. Number three. If you're European. Number three. If you're American. They do the sign different. This is how Americans do number three. This is how Europeans do number three. Anyways, this smells like Ellie Saab Amber number three. That's how it smells. Beautiful. I think this is masculine too. My man out there, my man, my dude, my dude, you would like this one. Check them out. I'm telling you. You're going you to wake up a sleeping giant, all right? Or fragrances that I talk about all the time. I actually gave one to my sister before. That's the thing about giving stuff away and selling it. Sometimes you want it back. Sometimes you want it back. And I was like, uh, I kind of want this fragrance back. And it was a really, really good deal. Cause like I told you, if you're following me, if you're subscribed, if you have the notification bell hit, then you will see when I list stuff on the community tab, which I did. And it was a really good Armani sale. All the fragrances was 40% off drunk. I was like, that's about TJ Maxx prices. And I don't know about you, but the TJ Maxx by me is like swiped, swiped. When all this COVID stuff happened, like it's swiped. There's nothing in there. So I go ahead, I went ahead and I repurchased one of my favorite fragrances from Armani. It's Armani because it's you. Again, I've had it before. So I do have a review on my channel if you want to check it out. A full in-depth review. But I just love this one. It looks like it would be a very mature scent, right? Like for a very mature, I'm talking about like 80 years old. Grown, grown, grown woman, okay? Great, 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 grand mare. But anyways, this one is actually such a beautiful, fruity kind of a fragrance. It's a fruity floral fragrance with a hint of sweet. Ooh, it kind of starts off like a kind of like a tart, fruity scent. But yeah, check it out. I love this scent so much. It smells womanly, but fruity floral. Ooh, I like it. It kind of smells like berries. Berries, I like that one. Because It's You um, by Imperio. Imperio? Imperio Armani. Really, really like this one. This is my favorite flanker of C. This is C Fiori. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It was a great freaking deal. Love it so much. It is soft. It's creamy. It's sweet. Um, it's a delicate feminine fragrance. And it just smells like a cloud of sweetness. Oh, I love that so much. I love it for all seasons. But yeah. If you like sweet fragrances, this is a really good one to, work, to rock during the summer. So it's not clawing or too sweet. This one's really, really good. So yeah, pick that one up as well. Great to have it in my collection. I was like, dang, I should have got the large bottles. I was really trying to save money, but I had to break down and buy that one. But yeah. So those are the fragrances that I've added to my collection. We've got some more coming soon. It's supposed to be like next week. Um, so I'm really excited to share those with you guys as well. And let me know what have you guys picked up? Have you heard of any of these fragrance brands? What do you think about them? And I will catch you guys in the next video.
Peace.